Congress has a new president. Joining me now is uh, senior Congress leader, former union minister P. Chidambaram. Mr. Chidambaram, how do I see this election? Was it really, as the critics are suggesting, simply a fixed match where the outcome was known from day one? Or was it really a stab at democracy? I want an honest answer. The critics are saying this was yet another fixed match. Kharge is the unofficial official candidate of the high command. Who are these critics? These critics are representing parties which never play a match. At least we are playing a match. Nobody said that this election was a perfect election. We are holding an election after many, many years. There will be some imperfections. But let me tell you, by and large, and I've spoken to many colleagues from many states, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty well aware of the delegates list from many states, this is by and large a fair and free election. No, no, you're saying it's by and large a fair and free election. Only this morning, the election agent of Shashi Tharoor, uh, Salman Soz, suggested that the election was marked by serious irregularities, especially in a state like Uttar Pradesh, claimed that the manner in which the election had been organized in these states was done to ensure that Mr. Kharge won. There were those close to Mr. Kharge, part of his team, who were in the... Uh, you know, while delegates were polling, they were influencing the delegates. Serious charges were made. Well, where was Salman Sos? Was he in Lucknow? I think he is basing his criticism on hearsay. Let us assume that mm -hmm. there are four or five instances of voting mm -hmm. which may not have been perfect. But that doesn't mean that uh, over 1,000 delegates from UP mm. uh, were uh, fixed their ballots or rigged their ballots. I think uh, Salman Soz is a, uh, a young congressman uh, who has a bright future, but I think he is overstating the problems. By and large, and let me assure you, 95%, mm -hmm. the turnout was 96%, mm -hmm. far above my expectations. Mm -hmm. 95% of this election has been fair, free, and they were free to vote for anyone they liked. No, no, and I know in some states, yes. although they profess, to, they, they profess to vote for one candidate, they actually voted for another candidate. No, no, the, the fact though is, Mr. Chidambaram, your definition therefore of free and fair will come under scrutiny. There are reports that delegates were being rung up by people close to uh, uh, Mr. Kharge, claiming that they were speaking for the Gandhi, speaking for the high command, that you had to vote for uh, uh, Mr. Kharge, Mr. Tharoor alleged during the campaign that senior leaders didn't want to be seen with him. I ask you again, do you believe this was uh, an election that really takes the process of uh, democratization of the Congress any further than it has? Or will Mr. Kharge, as has been widely seen, simply be Abs someone who is a rubber stamp for the Gandhis? No, no, the, this is the usual binary. It's Gandhi or uh, no Gandhi. Please understand, this is an absolutely fresh start, mm -hmm. but it can't stop here. I have repeatedly said over several months, several years, that we must take this process down, percolate it down to the block level. Next, we must hold elections to PCCs, we must hold elections to district congress committees and we must hold elections to the block congress committees. Once the delegates, and our delegates have told me in Tamil Nadu, once the delegates were assured that they can actually come and vote, a free and fair vote, uh, visible to the media, then you will find that the next PCC becomes a better constituted PCC and the next district congress committee Become, becomes a better constituted dis DCC and the next block congress committee mm -hmm. will see a large number of new people entering the party, becoming members and fighting elections. No, no, but will, there, will there be... Down, no, no, will there the be... The system for, will become more and more democratic. No, you're saying well, if it percolates down, will, for example, the Congress Working Committee have free and fair elections next? 
Will we actually have people in the Congress uh, Working Committee who are not nominated but are actually elected? And will Mr. Kharge really have the weight to ensure that? No, no, please understand. In any election to a body like the Congress Working Committee, one half is elected, one half is nominated. So we are only talking about the election quota, mm -hmm. which is, I think, about 10 or 11 members of the Congress Working Committee. There may be more than one slate of candidates. For example, your BCCI election did not have a slate of candidates. So this is true of all organizations. There may be a A slate, a B slate, and a C slate. For example, in Hyderabad, when Mr. Narsimha Rao held elections, there were more than one slate of candidates. Like in a college election, there are slates of candidates. And one slate may win seven or eight seats. Right. That doesn't mean it's fixed. That means it has been a fair and free election, no, no. a highly competitive election. No, the belief is that the old guard in the Congress, and you're included in a way in that, didn't want a Shashi Tharoor because he would be a disruptor. Y'all are still looking, it's a clique which wants to simply allow the Congress to go on the way it is. Interestingly, your own son, Karthi Chidambaram, was seen with Shashi Tharoor even as you were seen with Mr. Kharge. And therefore, there is still this reluctance, it appears, on the old guard to allow anyone new wrong? to enter your charmed circle. What is wrong? We are two Chidambarams. <laughs> we are not clones of each other. He has a view. I have a view, but I've never expressed my view. Mr. Tharoor met me before he filed his nomination. Mr. Karge telephoned me immediately after filing his nomination. Since uh, the election authority had prohibited uh, persons holding organization posts from making any statement, since I'm a member of the mm -hmm. Congress Working Committee, I did not make a public statement. And I will not reveal my vote either, but I did vote like Karthi voted, like everyone voted. Now, why should there not be more than one that view in a household? Uh, do you and your uh, uh, wife or do you and your son agree on everything? Interesting, interesting that you're putting the That shows the that this is a fair election. Okay, the fact that the two Chidambarans voted possibly different ways shows it's a free election. But my final question to you is simply this. Do you really believe that yes. Mr. Kharge will bring the change the Congress desperately needs. The general analogy I give is the Congress is a patient in ICU. You don't need band-aid. You need surgery. Can an 80-year-old, with due respect to his age, mm -hmm. Malikarjun Kharge, really effect that kind of change? Or is the real focus going to remain on Rahul Gandhi, who remains the elephant in the room? See, again, this is your media obsession. It's a binary is either the Gandhis or that's not the way a party functions. Mr. Karge has assured us that he will implement the Udaipur Declaration. Mm -hmm. I have impressed upon him before and recently that we must take this process of election right down to the Block Congress Committee. See, we have the software in the Congress Party. Mm -hmm. What we need is to get the hardware. This must become a hard-wired organization fighting fit to fight an election. Mm -hmm. That can be done. Mr. Karge will certainly choose his um, uh, fellow team members. He will choose, I hope, younger members. He will deploy teams in each state mm -hmm. and make sure that the election-going states will get priority and the other states will follow that the organization is well, uh, put on a sound basis. Once we get elected bodies, once mm -hmm. we get elected bodies in most of the PCCs and district congress committees, you will find that the hardware is in place and we believe that we already have the software. Where will Rahul Gandhi and the Gandhi family be in all this? What will they sort of hold, will they decide whatever happens in the Congress, or are you really telling me that Mr. Kharge will be the last port of call? See, I assume that, and I'm pretty confident that, Mr. Kharge's Congress Working Committee will include Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, Mr. Rahul Gandhi. It will be 
absurd if they are not included in the uh, Congress Working Committee. Uh, they are important players in the Congress Party. It's like um, no, no, who is uh, Mr. Narendra Modi forming an executive committee with Mr. With, with Mr. Amit Shah not there. So they will be there in the Congress Working Committee. There will be 21 others also. And that Congress Working Committee will decide. And Mr. Karge, knowing him to some extent, mm -hmm. I believe he will consult extensively. Who will, will be the final port of call? The he final port of call, every sir. Member of the working Who is the final port of call now? Congress President Rahul the Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi. All right. I'll, I'll answer. I'll answer your question. I'll answer your question. The final port of call will be the parliamentary board. I've impressed upon everyone that we must constitute a parliamentary board. That will be the final port of call, and I'm absolutely certain in my mind that Mr. Rahul Gandhi and maybe even Mrs. Sonia Gandhi will definitely find a place in the parliamentary board unless Mrs. Gandhi right. declines. But they will be in the parliamentary board. There will be eight others in the parliamentary board. And that will be the final port of call. Okay. Let's leave it there, Mr. Chidambaram. You're saying that there, this is only the start of uh, what you're Can claiming. I say something? Can yes. I say something? Please do. Yes. Can I say something? Yes. I think uh, the media should, today onwards, shed this eternal suspicion of the Congress party and begin to question the BJP and other parties. Okay. I'll leave it there. I, as a good lawyer, you've had the last word. Thank you very much, Mr. P. Chidamram, for joining me. Thank you.